Hello, welcome back to Baldur's Gate, the original saga. Under Drummer here, episode 82. I don't know what happened last time. I must have been in the Twilight Zone because I could not locate Ragefast's house. And it's pretty dang simple where it is. I did have to go look it up. And also I was referring to him at the end of the episode as Ragefist. Maybe that was some kind of Freudian slip. I don't know. I wanted to hit something with my fist in a rage, but his name is Rage Fast, not Rage Fist. And uh, this is his house. Right freaking here! How did I miss this? I don't know. I was looking here and everywhere else in Baldur's Gate and coming up short. So, Rage Fast's home. We're going inside. And it's locked which the Baldur's Gate wiki also said his house will be locked. That's fine. It's going to take a dump right here on his lawn since his house was so hard to find. Let's go, folks. <laughs> we are meant to be together. Now know thee well, I cannot leave, let thee leave. We are meant to be together, whether ye know it or no. All right, I don't know what you want this nymph for, but I've got some ideas. Okay, Abella the nymph. She, she's not too happy here. Is she handcuffed? I can't really tell there. Next to that giant telescope or laser device, some evil laser. I don't know what that is. Ragefast. What? What bandit dares enter the home of Ragefast? Identify your purpose here, that I might know what to put on thy tombstone. Strong words, mage. Have ye the will to back them up? Do you know your house is incredibly fucking hard to locate? Dare you speak of me as bandit when you commit such crimes as you do? We, we, we don't know that he's done anything yet. I should like as little trouble as possible. If you simply hand over the nymph, I shall return to Ramazith. Yeah. No, no need to get into a physical confrontation here. Just give us the nymph and we'll go. Drop that large knife. Ramazeth sent thee? That treacherous eel will not have a bella. What he suggests is against all tenets of decency. His foul plan dies here with thee. Uh, journal was updated. Alright, that was probably not the best option. But that's what we chose. So, everybody killed this guy. Let's see, mage against mage. What should we have Zan do? This is, this is a vampiric touch. Let's do that. Since he's standing right next to us. Oh my god! What? Who dropped him? That was insanely fast. Cast ghost armor. Damage 10. Damage 10. Death. Jahira and Ajantus both got hits. With twos and fives. Wow. Zan didn't even get Vampiric Touch off in time. Alright, let's talk to the uh, nymph, Abella. My poor rage fast, like many humans, he could not understand the feelings my kind elicits. What of you, savior? I should like to believe I am free, but mankind often does good things for bad reasons. What, then, are your plans for me? Uh, I don't trust any of the players in this game. You are free by my hand, and none shall cage you again. I have a duty to complete, regardless of how I feel. You are to be delivered to Ramazith, but I don't imagine his treatment of you could be worse than Rage Fast's. Well, I do want to complete the quest, but I don't know. Let's try this and see if she'll tell us, you know, no, no, he's going to rape me daily or something. Ramazith? Rage Fast was deathly afraid I should fall into his hands. He would not say why, but it worries me nonetheless. I beg of you, do not do this, okay? Maybe he is going to do terrible things to her, so... Uh, Ramesses shall have thee. No. I don't trust any of the players. We gotta, we gotta set her free. That's a good thing to do. It will be good to feel the grass beneath my feet once more. If you would just release this restraining collar, I will regain a measure of my talents. I thought it only ornamental when he gave it to me. Please, will you help me? Sure. My gratitude is boundless. Please take this cloak made from my hair and remember me by it. I doubt I shall seek the company of man for some time. Goodbye. Gained an item, she dimension doored the hell out of here, and we're left with this gigantic freaking laser. Actually, it, it very well may be a telescope. What did she give us? Lock of nymph's hair. 
While Nymph's hair has no magical properties of its own, it is an important component in a variety of charisma-related spells and items, not the least of which is the fabled Nymph's cloak. I, I thought she gave us a cloak. She just gave us hair? Didn't she say, here's a cloak? Can we equip this? No. We, we just got some hair. Amulet. Of protection, plus one. I don't think we have any use for these anymore. Everybody's wearing one that can wear one. Wand of Paralyzation, that's pretty good, so right click on it. No, we can't learn Paralyzation. Knaves are I've seen this many times. Well, well, maybe somebody will want this lock of nymphs hair. Let's save it. And let's explore the rest of uh, Ragefast's house here. Nothing. 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 Well, we're done with that quest. We can move on to other quests. Okay, this is the Hall of Wonders. So we need to break in there and steal a telescope. Let's do that next. There we go. There's the door. What? Where'd it go? Get in there. Oh, hey guys. Uh, just checking shit out. Do 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 do. Talk to him. Brathlin, welcome all to the Hall of Wonder. Please follow, and I shall endeavor to introduce you to the Majesty of Gond. Alright. Following. Blast and bother. These locks have always given me trouble. Trouble they are. Alora. Uh, okay. Now we're speaking to Alora. Holy Kitty Cacophony. You scared the bejeebers out of me. Sure, it's your job to catch us thievers, but you need not give me a heart attack, too. Hey, you're not the guard. Geesh, getting me all in a tizzy when you're here for the same thing as me? Well, since you're here, how's about we work together? Just for this one heist, I mean. You keep watch while I show the stash. I know a secret here and there, but we get equal shares, okay? Um, uh, I think she's just kind of getting in the way of our plan. Do what you must and I'll keep watch. Is she going to steal the telescope? All right, well, let's explore this. Let's see what happens. Do what you must. I'll keep watch. Double good and done. Oh, it'll be great fun having someone around to talk to. I don't meet many nice people in this trade. Just because we steal doesn't mean we have to be bad. <laughs> Mostly I'm just curious what people have. Here, I'll point out a few things and then we can get to sneaking. <laughs> it's such fun. Okay, so... Is she the wonder of Gond? What the fuck? I think I need Bobo, not her. What, what is she pointing out? Like, could they pick a more eye-shattering tile system for the floor? What the hell is going on? It's way too... It's way too busy. Just flat gray would have worked fine, guys. Let's, uh, let's get Bobo. Alora. Pretty good takens with none too many bruises. We do pretty good for just meeting. How about we do this again, like all the time? Want to join us permanent? Um, I'm really sorry, but we've all we need. What did we get? Well, let's say I'm sorry, but we've got all we need. Ah, oh, well, easy go, I guess. Never get to keep my friends in this biz, especially the nice ones. Bye, I guess. I think she just wanted to join the group. That was uh, maybe somebody who could join you, I guess. Gonsman Leonardo's Helical Aerial Wonder. Okay, we don't need that. We can steal right here. We're definitely going to see that, though. Pump of Gond. Steam Dragon. Everlight. So do we have to come in here at night time? Go up the stairs. OK, 
Okay, there's a second floor here. Well, let's save it here. Okay, should we put the rest of the group outside? Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Just to be safe. For the group. Put them right here on the lawn. All right, Bobo's flying solo on this one. Fuck. Can't get back in? There we go. Okay, so that's just a back door. Not really much in here. Alright, the telescope is not in there. Good to know. So, I think, I think the act of picking the lock is okay. Yeah. They just don't want to see you take anything. That's not a telescope. What? Someone noticed you? Damn it. Okay, we're stealth. Wait till these guys walk away a little bit. Come on, go do something else. That must be it. Someone noticed you. Yeah, that is unlocked. Okay, walk away. Just walk away, guards. Okay, quickly, there's no one there. I stealthed again. <laughs> What? Go ahead, go look for me. Let's make sure that that is what we think it is. Telescope, boom! Let's get the flock out of here. Go out the back way. Awesome, I think we're gonna make it out. Yes! Awesome, did it! Now we need to meet uh, Brevlik in the Elf Song. There's just one problem. Where the hell was it again? Actually, I think it's in this first area. Or the second area over there. Oh boy. Elf Song! Yay, we found it quickly. Getting the hang of Baller's Gate. Now, where's the door to this place? Hello again, my roguish compatriot. I heard this morning that there was a mysterious break-in at the Hall of Wonders. It said that the crafty burglars were in like ghosts and gone before the guard even had a chance to yell halt. Ooh, it's like an adventure tale starring you and me. You are well worth your pay, my friend. Well worth it is. Here's your 500 gold and a beautiful little trinket from my own personal collection. It's a sorrow to part with it, but this more than makes up. Goodbye and good fortune be on you. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? Love magical. A fucking wand? Come on! Oh, I don't need any more wands. And I think it's a wand of sleep, too. All right, let's not jump the gun here. Maybe it's an awesome, badass. Oh, lightning's pretty good, but... Man, they way overdid it with the fucking wands in this game. All right, well, two quests down. We're kicking some ass. Should we push it one more time? Push it to the limit one more time. Let's go do one more quest. Actually, the next quest is finding a place to sell. Do we remember? We could probably sell stuff here. At the Sorcerer's Sundries. A sign made of gigantic popsicle sticks. How Bowser Drin, we spoke with him before. What? Well, well, if I'm not mistaken, that be a lock of nymph's hair. Hey! A luckier being there cannot be than they who have gained the favor of such a creature. Would you be willing to part with a small portion of that sample? I could pay, say, 500 gold for it. Hmm. 
Oh, I couldn't sell this. It was a gift. Not unless you offered me an outrageous amount of money. <laughs> Suit yourself, though I can't say as I blame you. Very useful stuff, that. Say, how about I have a seamstress weave it within a cloak for you? It is said that the wearer of such an item is magically more beautiful. It would not cost much, perhaps a hundred gold. Delicate stuff it is. Awesome. An excellent suggestion. I'll take the cloak. You won't regret this. I already have one cloak made. I'll give it to ye. Now that I can make several others. Here you go. Okay, so we lost the nymph's hair, but we got a cloak. Charisma plus two, huh? Nineteen! Badass charisma! That's one charismatic son of a bitch. Yep, sell the sea charts. <laughs> nymph cloak only sells for 300 bucks, really? Yeah, sell these Zios gems. Bam, 600. Where's the rest of them? 56, 70. Boom. We're going to hold on to that rogue stone. I don't know. I just can't sell it. This is too damn beautiful. Oh, yeah. I forgot all about this quest. Lothander has told us to meet him at the Blade and Stars when we have a cure for his curse. I guess we're also poisoned. We're going to die in 10 days. A lot of stuff's supposed to happen in 10 days. Uh, let's use the last part of this episode to go explore the last area in Baldur's Gate. I think that would be productive. Here we go. I guess there's uh, two more sections. What's going? What the hell? Uh, Gorak. For your own health and that of your children, come no closer. I was cursed with this fell disease as punishment for my wickedness. Disease! Disease! Stand well back. Uh, let us cure you of your affliction. No, your potions and magics are of little use. The only way to cure this sickness is to right the wrong of the past. Behind a painting at the three old kegs, you will find the skull of my brother, Karif. Take it to Agnasia in the ladies' hall. She will know what to do with it. Okay, I'll try to help you out, dude. That's pretty bad. You're all messed up. It's one hell of a hangover. Antilius Folsom just walked up to us. Jahira, my dear one, you are radiant as ever and your eyes as joyful. And your ward, Gorion's child, that is the one there? Aye, the child has a fair countenance, and I sense a fair heart beats within that chest. Bobo the thief, allow me to introduce myself. I am Antilius Fulson of the Harpers, a friend of your friends and of your stepfather, Gorion. Cool. I am honored, Harper. You seem to be more knowledgeable of my situation than myself. Have you any advice regarding my coming tasks? Nay, the honor is mine, Boba the Thief. You are a very special individual, and sadly this has placed you in grave danger. I yearn to tell you more, but I'm afraid I cannot for fear of endangering you further. Here in the city, if you wish to succeed against the Iron Throne, know that you can trust Scar and Duke Elton, both of the Flaming Fist. They are good men and friends of ours, but I tarry too long when there are urgent matters to attend to elsewhere. We are well met, Bobo the Thief. Take care of Jehera, for I bounced her on this very knee when she was yet a babe. All right, Antilius. Seemed like a good dude. Journal updated. It appears that my dear friend Khalid and Jahira are with the Harpers. Don't know who they are, but some kind of protective group or cult or something. I am honored and more than a little frightened to find that I warranted such attention. One of their compatriots, a kindly old gent named Antilius Fulsom, seems well acquainted with my ongoing investigations into the Iron Throne. He has recommended to me the assistance of Scar and Duke Elton, two men associated with the Honorable Flaming Fist mercenaries here in Baldur's Gate. Harpers, yet, why doesn't anyone ever tell me these things? <laughs> Alright, that's a good place to leave it. Uh, episode 83, we'll keep exploring the last two sections of Baldur's Gate. Hopefully locate Oberon's estate and uh, steal what we need to steal before the 10 days are up and find ourselves the cure that we need so that we don't, you know, die. Thanks for watching, guys. You've been hanging out with Underdrummer, the man who has never, ever made a Minecraft video. Have a good one.